appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all come right on in, sit right on down. Um, <laughs> what's going on? Dog, I clicked the wrong dog on thing. Don't even worry about it. I am Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining me. This is the Willie Williams Show. This is the Night Night Nightly News. Remember, share, share, share. Tell somebody, tell somebody. I'm having problem with my dog on mouse. I don't know what these issues be. Ah, oh, they're trying to hold a player back. They're trying to hold a player back, but don't worry. Don't worry. Let me, let me, let me play with this battery real quick. I don't know what the problem is. Um, Orlando is in the building. What it do, what it do. Boy, y'all come right on in. I'm glad to see that y'all around here. I hope that y'all is having a wonderful day because my day has been pretty good to me. It is, it is. It's, it's been pretty good to me. I don't have too many complaints. You know, we still breathing. So I guess that that has to be like a plus. That that has to fall under like a plus thing right now, right now, right now, right now. What? Now, now why is all these things doing it? We having a, a late response with YouTube. I don't know what's going on with these doggone computers. Oakland, California is up in here. Say, bring it. That's what we're going to try to do. The 757 is in the building. Say, Thursday, Thursday, nightly news. The DFW is in here with it with a thumbs up. Say, hey, sugar. The 912 Savannah, Georgia is in the house. Salute Detroit. It's up in this thing. Say, salute Willie Dallas, Texas is up in here. The 505 Louisville, Kentucky is in there, bit. Say the 803 in the chat. Appreciate that right there. Um, um, bam, bam, bam. Damn it, we got Jonesboro in the building. Say we got a 334 to go. Monkey Town is up in here. Appreciate that right there. Say hey, sugar and chat. Say um, love all the way from Tyler, Texas is back up in this thing. Say number seven on, on the like button. I appreciate that right there. You all already know what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the likes up before a certain time. Ah, dog it. I meant not to say it. I didn't mean to say it, but I mean, it just flowed on that because I'm used to saying it, but you all have been doing a wonderful job when it comes down to the thumbs up before a certain time I hear in this street. Now, why in the heck is it that I got my shades on the desk or something? I don't know. Something is going on. Something is really messing with this screen right here. I'm not having a problem with my other screens and all them and all that flash shit. It's just this dog on screen. Shout out to Jeremy for the for the one dollar cash app. I appreciate that right there. Starting that support early. That's what I'm talking about. California is in the building. Say Shot Town is up here. Um, it's up in here. The two eight one Houston, Texas. Say hey Willie. Say this is Mama needs to hush so I can. Mm, <laughs> so you can f I t mm mm mm. -hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that that's what you're trying to do out here. You say Oakland, Oakland, California is here. Say bring it, bring it, bring it. That's what's up. North Carolina is in the building. We scrolling. Dog at the 912 is up in the house. We got the 634 is up in the building. Y'all keep it coming. The 612 is in the building. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Tallahassee is in the house. South Carolina is up in this thing. Um, Seattle is in the house. The 205 is around here. What the hell going on with my dog on computer? All right, control, alt, delete. Because I don't, I don't. I don't be dealing with that right there. Doggy, you're taking me through too much. Norfolk, Virginia's in the building. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We saw a few things. We saw a few things. I'm going to try to get you in, and then I'm going to try to get you out. Now, this is something that I should have seen earlier today, but I saw it when I got off the show, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot believe what I just had to look at. We have a good teacher. We have a good teacher who done done one of the worst things out here in these street. And they will say, put their hands on a autistic child. Here we go. Dayton, Ohio are sharing some disturbing video as they demand charges be filed after what happened to their son at school. The video shows a teacher's aide striking their nonverbal three-year-old, knocking him down, then picking him up by his feet. Braylon Toodle has autism. Braylon's parents say they were told later that day that something had happened, but they didn't know he had been hit until they requested the video. The family is calling for the teacher's aide, who has since been fired, to face charges. Mm. Say something to a kid that's not verbal, you don't get a response. So we wouldn't know. We wouldn't have a clue what was going on. Our kids need help. Society needs to be educated on autism, and they need to be trained to deal with these kids. Facts. 
The school superintendent says the district will be taking additional measures to make sure all employees are properly trained and qualified for their positions in an effort to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. Hello, right. I'm and, and, and yes, yes, they are short staffed out here. They short staffed. So do we get rid of the teachers? Do 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 the, damn it, do we get rid of the teachers? She ain't mean it like that. I don't I don't I don't think she meant like to damage the kid, you know. And is it just me or are the children like soft nowadays? Like dog, they can't fall down and scrape their knee and stuff and you tell them, man up, be a man. Remember them days? Remember how we came up and they would not allow us to continue to cry and stuff like that. But now we allow the children to cry. Mama, uh, mama, ma, 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 daddy, 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 all that fly stuff right there. But listen, you say we need to we we need to rehire the wine teacher. See, because she came to work to do her doggone job. When I was in school, some of my teachers was on essential products. And look how we turned out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Hi. Two parents in Dayton, Ohio are sharing some disturbing video as they demand charges be filed. Maybe she was trying to stop the child from, like, running, like, into something. And she was just reaching out to, like, stop him. Like, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. Maybe she was trying to save his life. After what happened to their son at school, the video shows a teacher's aide striking their nonverbal three-year-old, oh. knocking him down. Then the baby crisscrossed on her. The baby, like, side stuff. It went to... I don't need much to mm. oh, just say they drug test teachers. I think so. I think, listen, li, 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 li. I have been on the internet. I have been on the internet looking for education jobs right here in these streets. And they have so many openings. Remember we, um, I showed you all on, on the Orange County website to where they was looking for teachers and stuff like that right there. They were looking for um, paraprofessionals and all that, you know. But I do think that they drug test. I do think they drug test. And I just want to say for all of the states, this is really what is preventing you all from hiring good teachers. This is what is preventing you all from hiring good teachers. Because y'all saying that reefers is the problem. And I'm here to tell you reefers ain't the problem. Because the ones who y'all is hiring is on Zanny Boss, Perk 30s, um, wine, liquor, um, cocaine, um, um, you know, the prescriptions. Um, hell, meth. <laughs> we got some heroin addicts out here, you know. They on all that other stuff, but the only reason that you won't hire the marijuana is because it stay in your system for 30 or more days. Everybody else, it's, it's, it's two to three days. For the most part, they can get high on Friday, come back to work on Monday, and they dead clean. You see what I'm saying? It's not fair. It's not fair, and you all are is losing out. Um... I don't think I'm gonna be able to pronounce it correct. Shout out to Leia, Ella, Elia, Elia. I don't. Mm, my bad, my bad, my bad. Tell me how to pronounce it for the one dollar cash out. You say she should lose her job. Say poor kiddo. I know, right? But once she lose her job, then what we got? We already got principals driving buses and picking him up by his feet. Braylon Toodle has autism. Braylon's parents say they were told later that day that maybe she didn't want to fight with the baby. You yeah, know, so she picked the baby up by the ankles. You yeah, know, because if she had picked the baby up by the arms, the baby would have been tussling and stuff, and then she would have possibly end up dropping the child and damaging the child then. You know, I don't know. Maybe, hell, yeah, she would just follow her own understanding. That's really all it is. But hey, hey, hey. Hey, at least we have cameras throughout the school so we can see what's going on. Now, the parents can actually sue the school. The parents can get, can, damn it, you can turn your child into an asset right now. You can get to the bag. You can really get to the bag. And then, and then if one of you all is not a stay-at-home parent, then once y'all get the bag, then y'all can become a stay-at-home or one of y'all can become a stay-at-home parent because now you got the bag and the bag should cover you for at least a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Like if y'all get like a hundred, 
that should run you into if especially hell if you're good with money you might can sit down for like a good three years you know so. as long as one of you all is still working as long as one of you all is still working and y'all can pay all the bills off one salary the other one can stay home for at least at least two to three years yeah 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 we got we have to find better ways to make it out here. You say, Willie makes my day. I try. I be trying to just do such a good job as soon as I press go live. I try to do a good job out here. I promise you. I promise you. Let me go ahead on and take you down to um, <sighs> Dade County. My state. Florida. Stand your ground state. Bust a bitch go home state. Please don't run up. We ain't fit for our life state. Listen, this is why I've been trying to tell y'all you you better go ahead on and get you um the ring doorbells and stuff. Get you what what well cameras. Cameras because I have not looked up whether um the ring doorbells um is doing any sponsorships. I have not looked any of that right there up. But hold on, hold on, God. Dog, I forgot to grab all of these doggone videos and put them on over here. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. We need some more thumbs up. We need some more thumbs up. I do know it's Thursday, and they possibly didn't send out all of the notifications. But for you all who is here, 232 of you all, 232, and I got one, 139. What is we doing? Why is y'all hating on pimping? M M M N O O P. P come after O, right? All right, I got it. Bam. This is why you need cameras at your crib. You never know what's going on. You never you never know what type of visitors you gonna have. A crime on camera. This may look like an Amazon driver dropping off a package at a South Florida home, but police say that is not what was happening here. In fact, we're told that woman in that video was all dressed up as an Amazon delivery driver. She's seen taking a package from the porch and leaving behind an empty box. Local says Cody Weddle joins us with this crime on camera. And we've seen these package thefts before. This woman seems to think she's beaten the system. She not only takes packages, she also leaves some behind. Uh, I was waiting on some shoes I bought for my mom, who's 88 years old. But a porch pirate in Northwest Miami-Dade had different plans. Your mom just needs some slides, baby. She 88 years old. She do not need no closed toe shoes. It's time out for that right there, baby. She, she 88. Go ahead, go ahead. Crime on camera. This may look like an Amazon driver oh, dropping off a package. Up on his own. I'm sorry. And we've seen these package thefts before. This woman seems to think she's beaten the system. She not only takes packages, she also leaves some behind. Uh, I was waiting on some shoes I bought for my mom, who's 88 years old. But a porch pirate in Northwest Miami-Dade had different plans. This swindler has a different modus operandi than the rest, perhaps an attempt to not raise suspicion. And he comes over and he goes, it's an empty package. She not only swipes the goods, she leaves behind other empty packages. And she does it all while donning one of those signature Amazon delivery vests. She got a blonde hair and stuff, so she looked trustworthy. <laughs> Keep playing on y'all intelligence. Yeah, I, don't know. I was mad and angry as heck. That was the first thing, because it's like... How dare you? Cameras catching the blonde haired, tattooed woman on several porches in the Palm Springs North and Lakes on the Green neighborhoods. Lakes on the Green neighborhood. Shout out to you, to uniquely designed for the five dollar cash out to say the teacher locked mine in the boiling room. K. Oh, Jesus. Say I sue as you were supposed to get that change. Yeah, in yeah, one yeah. video, her gray I SUV rolls by. Oh, but she has spotted one of those precious packages. She puts it in reverse. And then to leave an empty package, it's like a slap in the face. Victims now have a message for this unabashed porch poacher. Go out and get a job like the rest of us, because it's really unfair. We work hard for these things. Now I'm retired, so it's even harder. And that's why she don't want to get like a whole job out here, because it's easier to do what she's doing. The streets got to eat. The streets got to eat. That's why this person is doing what they're doing. Why you out there been buzzing your ass for 20, 30 years. They go out there, grab a few packages, probably like an hour or two a day, and shh, 
Again, they back home playing PlayStation or something, smoking reefers, you know, <laughs> while y'all working. Somebody need to set their ass up. Listen, you keep your pit bulls shit ready. You keep your pit bulls by the door. That's what I'm trying to tell you something. And as soon as she dropped that box and grab yarn, open up that door. Sickle, sickle. Get him. <laughs> and say, scratch, bitch. <laughs> Boy, when I tell you that baby going to be running and hollering and screaming and just make sure that your pit bull bite in the ass. Like, just, just bite and just shake. Arr, shake her, baby. Shake her. Yeah. Yeah. Come out there and beat the dog shit out that baby. I'm trying to tell you, trying to take what you had done bought round from you stealing we do not appreciate these but streets gotta eat moving right along ain't gonna eat much hold you streets gotta eat yeah yeah but <laughs> say a blonde head devil oh blonde head devil y'all can't trust them babies don't trust them babies stop giving people a pass because they may be a little cute you know what i'm saying a bit look cute shit we we, we. oh she would never <laughs> She would never do that. Hell, look, I saw something else. They out here snitching. Somebody done dropped a dime, done messed it up for a whole bunch of us, and done messed it up before I can even put my order in. They done messed it up before I can put my order in out here in these streets. Man. Got to be more careful. $35 million in knockoff Gucci, Louis Vuitton bags, and other goods seized by the NYPD raid. 18 arrested. Man, what? Listen, I was just finna get me some Cartier's. I was just finna order me some Cartier's, some replicable, re, re, replicable Cartier's out here in these streets. Listen, I was just finna do it because I, oh oh yeah. Well, I am also going to buy from um. How many of y'all shop through? Is it what T E M U? T Mu, Tim Mu. It wasn't any dog on sites like here. They got it for the low. Ooh, ooh, they got it for the low. They say that thing out of China and all that fly stuff right there, but they got them things for the low. Listen, I am trying to buy all knockoff everything. You all can get. You say you love T Mo. I'm trying to. I was on that bit like three hours yesterday. I'm like, oh Jesus! I put so much stuff in the shopping cart. I'm like, oh God! You mean to tell me that they got twelve hundred dollar, no seventeen hundred dollar glasses? They look the same. For three forty nine, bitch. <laughs> Shit, I'm get three pair. I'm a, I'm gonna spoil myself and get me three pair out here. You know what I'm saying? Three, um, um, three, three different like shades and stuff like that, right there. Because I went on the Cartier website. Like you mean it's seventeen hundred dollars for some glasses? <laughs> what, what? What is we doing? Who in the hell done boosted our heads up that we like designers so much that we would... Mm, you have been played. It's in your psyche to where I need Louis, I need Gucci. But you have to spend the type of money. That shit, that's for them other people. I don't, I don't, I don't... Mm, I don't feel less than if I, I don't have like a Gucci bag or a Louis Vuitton belt or some shit like that. I don't, I don't, what is that? It's just material. I don't understand. But damn it, if it was my company, I would want you all to continue to um, rob, steal, and kill for my product too. You know what I'm saying? But look, 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 look. I was like, who the hell done dropped the bag? Wait, wait. Oh, hey, we got a video. Let's see what's being said real, real quick. Let's see what they're talking about. Good afternoon. We're here on the corner of uh, Canal and Broadway in the confines of uh, the 5th Precinct. We're Jesus. Jesus. We received a tremendous amount of complaints about counterfeit goods from the uh, community and from the business owners. So as you can see, uh, there is a tremendous amount, like I said, and we're, we're here seizing that and, uh, and taking it off the streets. Ooh, the this is an area here where... Uh, Ooh, look, at look, at <laughs> look at, look at, L listen, listen. They got all of them on T-Move. <laughs> they got all them on T-Move. 
right now. I promise you. Oh, it's, uh, it's very condensed. You have two. I have not checked like the handbags and the Gucci bags, but hell, hell, they do got the replicable, the the replicable everything. I showed y'all the replicable Rolexes now. I'm trying to tell you, get you one for 134 or something like that right now. Shout out to Son Jay for being a member for 14 months. Say in Detroit, Cartier glasses is part of the culture. But if I can get you off earth, in the, it, it, it can get you off earth. People, listen, you can get killed behind this stuff. Three dozen sellers blocking the entrances to numerous uh, you know, restaurants. You got to do better with your uniform. Um, to my brother in blue right here, your uniform it got to fit better than that right there, pimp. Come on, chief. Uh, places of business and so forth. Tuck, tuck your shirt in better than that, pimp. It was entered into the community link, which is. Uh, she trying to solicit. That baby trying to look sexy. Sexy. She a little sexy. Uh, what brought our, re our response here today? Resulted in 18 arrests and over three truckloads full of merchandise. Uh, we're gonna continue the operations going forward. We're also gonna be uh, posting officers here to try to prevent this setup so the gentlemen don't uh, waste their time out here. And, uh... They say he looking like a hot mess. So you mean to tell me that they was, because I'm not from New York. So are you telling me that they had all their products on stands and stuff, selling the knockoffs in broad daylight? Was they not inside of a store selling the knockoffs? Was they on the corner? Because they're cleaning up the block right now. So in my mind, they kind of they 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 kind of trying to tell me that they is sought up on the street corner. I don't know. Somebody uh, educate me. Uh, losing their merchandise. Say yes, yep. Yeah. No. Getting arrested and so forth. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lines of uh, the fifth precinct. So they just sitting out there with that product out there like that? Hell, they should have been with the gym. What? <laughs> Listen. Away in the confines. Do you, do you... They come, they set up like that every day. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, boy. Listen. <laughs> oh, boy. Couldn't even go down like this in Dade County. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, you'd have been wrong. Oh, shit. You would have been like, listen, the police would not have had a chance to even come and arrest y'all. You would have been robbed a long time ago. You mean that they just set this up every day and people can just come on through, pick and pay and go ahead on? Shit. As of uh, the 5th Precinct, we received a tremendous amount of complaints about counterfeit goods from the uh, community and from the business owners. So as you can see, uh, there is a tremendous amount, like I said, and we're, we're here seizing that and, uh, and taking it off the streets. This is an area here where uh, the sellers are... What? Is this out there? Oh, my God. If you really, really fast, you can be running and grab and keep on running if you're really, really fast. I know that they ain't that goddamn stupid. Or maybe they are. I have no idea. Say it's a pick and pay. Okay. Okay. That to be more careful. 35 million in counterfeit designer goods, including mounds of knockoff Louis Vuittons and Gucci bags, were seized in a police raid as cops busted 18 people for allegedly selling fake in plain sight on busy lower Manhattan sidewalk. Y'all, y'all supposed to went to jail. Y'all thought this shit was legal. Y'all was supposed to went to jail. Shout out to Simone for the, for the, for the $1 cash. Shop. Say, say Christmas is right around the cone. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Listen, so y'all couldn't do like, um, Facebook marketplace or nothing. Y'all couldn't do, damn. Mm -hmm. You all could have did some Amazon or something. Clo Clothes, glasses, and pocket and, and pocketbooks and pocket bag. You got to be crazy. Say Willie, Ch Willie Chinatown got knockoffs too. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm shows dozens of handbags lined up on the subway. Um, grates. And some assorted wallets, sun sunglasses, and caps on display on the tables at the corner of Canal Street and Broadway on Wednesday evening as officers work to dismantle to 
the the illicit setup. They setting up on the block. You know, who that like setting up just selling dope just right out in the public? Like we just don't give no fuck right here. What is wrong with you people? Shout out to Common Sense Media Group for the 499 Super Chat. You say it hit different when that weave on your burger though. You say it hit different when that weave on your burger though. Yeah. <laughs> look at 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 look. They got the big bags. They got the clutches. <laughs> Shout out to the clutches. Yeah, yeah. They got the wallets for the um players. You know, you know they got a little pocket wallets shit. They got little caps, caps and hats and man. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. I see Chinatown. The takedown happened along Cologne Street from Church Street to Broadway and on Broadway from Walker Street to Howard Street on the border of Tribeca, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Chinatown. Oh, so they done hit everybody. Oh, see, they done came through like jump out on there. They done hit everybody, community to community. Jesus. Ooh, ooh. They got caught slipping. Hell no, 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 no. They did not get caught slipping. <laughs> they caused this on themselves. I think that they wanted to be locked up. I think they wanted to be locked up. Shout out to Damien for the for the for the one dollar cash app. They say rob them folks if you want. You won't make it home. Mm. They probably got like a setup. They probably got by two three people that's like chasers or something like that will run you down and shoot shit at you or something. Mm -mm. Mm. Say, well, I would feel like a failure in life. You say, what you gonna do when the real good stand next to you? Say that part. You know, but li li listen, li 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 watch this, watch this. Like I've always said, I refuse to um, spend my money like that. I don't give a damn if I'm like filthy fucking rich. And I know, I know people say, but you can't say what you will do and what you will not do if you was filthy, filthy rich. Listen, let me explain something to you. A player done been through money. A player done been through money, and I still would not pay. I'm not paying five hundred dollars for no damn shirt. A a a a t shirt. I don't care if I was a billionaire. I'm not spending five hundred dollars on a t shirt. It's a t shirt. Like I'm not spending seventeen hundred dollars on some gla on some glasses. And mind you. Dude, it's about 800 But listen, listen, but hold on, hold on. Hold on. But these prescription, the, these prescription, though, I ain't spending $800 on no shades that I may wear, like, every now and then. I don't see it. See, but these prescription, the prescription's about 400 something dollars So, 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 hey, 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 hey. The frames is... Another like four hundred dollars, but 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 if I would have got some cheaper frames, it still would have been over four hundred dollars. So hey hey, it ain't my goddamn fault, and that's like the best that they had at the dog on time. But ain't nowhere in the hell we doing eighteen hundred. Dog on, let the chain slow. Thirty thousand on a bag. You got to be all right, all right, all right. And I don't care if it hold value or not. Pitch 30000 on no goddamn bag. We don't, we don't play like that, pimp. I've never been into designer anything. I've never bought a pair of Jordans. I was never one of those. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't need much care like that. I showed up. Don't. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much. Hold you. That's some sad shit. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me let me go to Cartier. I think that's how you spell it. Um... Cardiac glasses or something. Um, shout out to Don for the two dollar cash shop. You say on Tuesdays and Thursday, gotta watch for the swipe. Oh, you gotta watch for the swipe. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Got some jump out boys. Oh, them jump out boys hit your ass. Yeah, yeah, they come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Got to be more careful. We got the Cardiac. Is that Cardiac.com? Is this where I had them went? Let me show y'all some. Um, I don't, I don't want to do cookies. I don't want to confit cookies. No, thank you. But damn it! I guess I got to press it. I don't want nothing. Clip on there. I'm gonna show y'all some. Hold on. 
Is these the knockoffs? Cardia.com. But why is it not showing in English? It's not showing. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do it have an E? Why the hell do it have an E? Because it's not U.S. dollars. This one is not showing in, in the U.S. dollars. But when I was looking, I saw U.S. dollars, and I was, I was like, oh, hell no. The hell they do that at? I don't know. I must be looking at something else here. There's maybe like Cartier Cousin or something like that. I have no idea. But let me bag it on that. Let me, let me see if I can. I don't want to go to Fifth Avenue. None of that. Okay. Men, men's designer sunglasses. All right. Bam. Bam. I made it. <laughs> I made it. We on Cartier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. No, nah, no, nah, look, 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 look. Cartier. Cartier.com. Yep. The sunglass, the wish list for him. This is never be no wish list for me. This is $1,200. Am I hating on these people? I have no idea, but it's $1,200 for shades. I'm trying to keep on looking. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The blues is seventeen ninety five, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say, damn, will it not even a pair of forces? Nope. I have never, and I didn't care how much money I ever had. I'm trying to tell you when I'm sitting up with 10, 20, 30, 50, 700,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't never. I would buy Nikes and shit, but not, not like, and I've never bought Nikes out of the store. I've never bought Nikes out of the store. So I've never paid full price for Nikes either. But I have never did the expensive shit. Now, I had Air Force Ones coming up as a child when them shit was $19. When they was re-released -re and for my size, they was one in the quarter, never bought them. Nope. Because I came up when they was nineteen dollars, fuck, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like it just didn't make sense to me. I, I don't. Mm -mm, Jordans never have, never will. I just don't care for designer like that. Nope. Be thirteen, twelve, yeah. This shit is a mortgage. These bitch twenty seven. I got to click on that bitch twenty seven ninety five, bitch. Twenty seven. Come on now. The hell did it just go to the fragrances? It clicked to the freight. Oh, poor for y'all better scrape me. That bit twenty seven ninety five. Say Willis size thirteen plus at least two hundred dollar. Nah, I'm fourteen wide. <laughs> so you still could be right that they at least two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bit to twenty. Sam 95. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Okay, it say Cartier here, right, like little bit right here, and it says it on the piece that goes around the the ear. This. This piece right down here, right where I'm pointing at, typically there's a Cartier symbol there. I bet twenty seven ninety five. Yeah. You say, Willie, you taught us to buy stocks instead. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you why y'all was out buying Jordans, bitch. I was buying Nike stocks. All right. The Cartier Buffs. Cartier Buffs. Um, do I just put in the search here? Should I just search here? How much time we got? Okay, I got time to put in a search what damn it they don't have a search button on their dog on site they don't have a search on their dog on site i guess you can't search for product hold on cardiac let's oh cardiac buffs booths buffs 
I didn't say 3,200. Shh. Hold on, hold on. Cartier horn, horn glasses or something. Shout out to King Leo for the $2 super chat. He said, can you see Saturn's ring with them on? I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit got to do more than just block my eyes from the sun. That bitch, 3,300. 3,300. And these done sold out. <laughs> Damn blues. That bitch, 37. They are glasses. Yeah, Willie, but they're Cartier's. No, 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 but they're glasses. I guess we could kind of say the same thing, like if you're going to buy like a Bentley, supposed to like a Toyota, you'd be like, but they both cars. But yeah, Willie, but it's a Bentley. You know, you'd be like, uh, no, but shit, they st damn it, they still cars. They still like the same thing. But yeah, but Willie, it's a Bentley. So I can kind of understand the argument, but no, I can't understand the argument when it comes down to shit like shades. Like, I really, really can't. I don't, mm -mm. Hey, watch, watch it. I wasn't raised like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to our dogs to trap for the $2 super chat. You say, only glasses I'm paying for is my windshield. Hashtag domestic. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, see. See, we got to save money until we tell some shit. You yeah, know. Now these here, they look kind of fly, but that bitch 31, you can make payments. You lying to me. Bitch, you is lying to me. I like this type of design. That little design is just different. Can you, can you buy these shits with a firm though? I just, damn it, I bet they won't use a firm. I bet they won't use a firm though. <laughs> I bet they won't do it. Look at this shit. They do do it, say this. <laughs> Look at look at look, look. Buy in monthly payments with a firm on orders over fifty dollars. Oh, so no wonder everybody is around here with Cartier's on. No wonder they around here with Cartier's on and all that fly stuff right there because you was able to put this shit on your credit. You say buy monthly payments with a firm on orders over fifty dollars. Oh, where is the knockoffs at? Bitch, I need some knockoffs. We ain't doing that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. And then you often, and then you also have to ask yourself, how many people do y'all think actually know about Cartier's? How many people in, in like your circle really know about Cartier? Come on, dog. Like, for real, for real, though. We is like, we is like poverty to middle class. Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't like over middle class out here in these streets. So how many people, how many of your peers know about $3,000 damn glasses? And how many do you think that they can, they can point out $2,700 glasses, $1,700 glasses? $3,000 glasses. How many of you, your peers, can point that type of stuff out? You know, good as hell where your people don't know shit like that right now. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. Hell going on around here in this street. Bitch done told. I thought that somebody had done told, and that's how they hit them, um, them doggone, um, 30, 30, 35 million. I got two me up right now. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Real, real quick. Oh, I got two me up. If this right here don't look like a Rolex, I had clicked on it. It's not a Rolex, it's an Olex. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, no, 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 look, 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 look. That bitch is a Olex. Can I see? It's a OL, it's an OLEV, and it got the crown thing. But because that bitch in that blue, that bitch look like that Rolex, damn it, you got to show a bit quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 shit. You know how I be out here popping mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That bitch $16, bitch. Waterproof and all. Shh. All right. But, but, mind y'all, I took y'all to a nice replicable, replica, 
Rolex website. And I'm being like 134, 1, 163 and shit like that right there. But it had Rolex on that bit too. You know what I'm saying? So you can spend your thirty to fifty thousand dollars for your old Rolex. Do you? I am so proud of you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I am so proud of the way that you is living your goddamn life. Do you? Really ain't tripping. Really ain't hate. I just refuse to spend that type of money on, you know, products and stuff like that right now. Unless I'm going to spend my money like that on some products. Products. We ain't talking about some shit that you can wear. We talking about some product. Product. Moving right along out here in these streets. Hell, I'm going to spend some shit that ain't going to make me no money like that. Really. Y'all lost your goddamn mind. But, Willie, if you don't spend it, the government going to take it. Then that still means you have not figured out finances. When you tell me that shit, you still have not figured out finances. You got to spend it, Willie. Okay. Real, real cute. That makes sense to you. All right. And most part, when people don't say it, that shit to me, they just really ain't never had type of money to where they have to even worry about um, the IRS <laughs> taking their money. You ain't even made that type of money. But you're going to tell me about what happens when you make that type of money. When you ain't never made that type of money. I've been there, done that. But you ain't. That's what's up. Moving right along. Say assets over liabilities. Here we go. We got a beautiful baby out here who hadn't got into a little situation, altercation, inside of a restaurant. A situation, altercation, inside of a restaurant to where they is claiming that she put hair inside the restaurant food. Well, damn it, we got video. Well, if I'm not eating, nobody's eating. Nobody. So I proceeded to take strands of my hair and sprinkle it on the food. So you did put hair inside the food that they said that you put hair inside the food up. Go ahead, baby. You heard her. Talisha Jacobs so upset with the service at Ooh, a local restaurant that she admittedly mm -hmm. contaminated the food. Okay. Thanks for joining us on 19 News at 3. I'm Nicole Versansky, and it is a shocking video. You see it here behind me. 19 News first showed you yesterday. So the woman caught on camera sprinkling her hair onto the food at Chill Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill over on East 185th Street. Mm. Now at three, she's telling her side of the story, saying she's justified. When he she says she's justified. <laughs> that baby pregnant and everything. George ahead, just spoke to her in a story you'll see on Just One Station. I was wrong for that, but it was provoked. I don't want to look. He said I was wrong for that, but it was provoked, though. Go ahead, baby. Like I'm just some mean person or... A irate customer because that's not it. Take a look at your screen. That's Talisha that Jacobs bit. putting her hair all over the food at Chili Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill. Shout that baby out for having her real because those are dreadlocks. Shout that baby out for having her real. 19 News first shared it on Tuesday. After seeing our story, Jacobs called me wanting to explain what happened. She admits to being angry after not getting what she was willing to pay for. Mm. I said, Can I get extra meat in my tacos? I said, I'll pay the extra, for the extra scoop, which was $2.50, and she could separate it between my four tacos. The manager then stepped in and told me I could not get extra meat or I would not be getting all of my toppings. I said, I never heard of that. She said, well, that's you can't get extra meat. This is where things get crazy. The restaurant's managers claim Jacobs became aggressive because she didn't want to wait until the taco meat was fully cooked. Do y'all believe that she became aggressive? Do y'all think that that baby would um, become aggressive? You say she cost them about 4K, uh, about 3K? Wait a minute. According to Jacobs, that's far from the truth. She says the manager told her to get out. In response, I said, no, I cannot. Mm. Jacobs claims finally one of the employees did make her tacos with extra meat. But at that point, the manager didn't want to do business with her anymore. She said, throw that away. I said, OK, well, if I'm not eating, nobody's eating. So I proceeded to take strands of my hair and sprinkle it on the food. Do you think you deserve any type of punishment for this? Honestly, I was willing to pay for whatever the condiments that I did mess up, but it's like I said, it's not a thousand dollars worth of food, like they said. Jacob said they said 
She's saying that they said that it's a thousand dollar worth of food that she damaged. She was a regular customer at the Mexican Grill, but now she will never step foot inside there again. Never. And I wouldn't recommend anybody to go there because if the employees are allowed to disrespect the customers like that, that that vibe alone would not want you wouldn't want to eat there. Now police are involved. Jacob says she spoke to a detective, and as of right now, she's not facing any charges. In Cleveland, I'm Winnie Deutsch, 19 News. Winnie Deutsch, I like that last name. Is your people's Dutch? I mm, I don't even know where the Deutsch name come from. Damn it, I that was like my first thought. Deutsch, Dutch, I don't know. Oh, you say $5,000, she should be fine. Yeah, 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 baby, sugar, sugar. We do understand that you got anger. We do understand that you got a little upset. But for what you had done did with your real hair, baby. <laughs> and there's one thing about hair. When you pull it out and you, like, drop it, it goes some air out there with. It goes some air well. So you may have just thought that you was contaminating maybe just this spot right here. But if there's other food and um, um, breads and all this stuff, that shit fly. It goes everywhere. Everything behind that glass is supposed to win the garbage. Everything. And and and, and even if they told you $1,000, it's typically more than that because now you've had them to waste time to re-up everything, well, to s throw out everything, sanitize everything, re-up re, re everything, and that takes time away from them selling selling the groceries. So you're still costing them money because now, now they have to add time on doing some other shit. You say protect all women. Well, if Bam. I'm not eating, nobody's eating, so I- I ain't eating, nobody eating. About these little two fits. By a little ragged ass two 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 dollars and fifty cents scoop of extra meat. Proceeded to take strands of my hair and sprinkle it on the food. Shout out to T Lee for the two dollar super chat. Say I like how she justified it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She come on now. Yeah, yeah, I believe that it, yeah, I might have been wrong, but as long as there as long as there's a but. I like I, I like how she justified it and but but this is women's nature. This is the baby's nature. They refuse to take full responsibility. All, all this right here is your fault, baby. I'm sorry. We believe you, but it's still your fault. Shout out to the fifth film for the for the $5 super chat. You say, Willie, tacos can only hold so much when it comes to topping. You say, um, I bet your ass got some gators in the closet, though. You already know that right though. I'd have had me some gators since, 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 shit, since the 90s. Since the 90s. Got some gators, some Stacey Adams. Got me some, um, that, damn it. What is the Michael, Michael, some, it's some fly stuff. Don't even worry about it. You heard her. Run it back. Salisha Jacobs so upset with the service at a local oh, restaurant that she admittedly contaminated the food. Thanks for joining us on oh 19 God. News at 3. I'm Nicole Versansky, and it is a shocking video. You see it here behind me. 19 News first showed you yesterday. So the woman caught on camera sprinkling her hair onto the food at Chill Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill over on East 185th Street. Now at 3, she's telling her side of the story. You say that's a garbage attitude, yeah? Saying she's justified. Winnie George. She says she's justified because they provoked that baby. They force her to put hell inside of the other food just that won't for her. her. In a story you'll see on just mm. one station. Yeah. I was wrong for that, but it was. She was wrong for that, but. It was provoked. I don't it was provoked. Y'all made her. Y'all made that pregnant, beautiful baby do that right now. I want to look like I'm just some meeting person or. A uh, irate customer. Because we would never think that, baby. Because that's not it. Take a look at your screen. That's Talisha Jacobs putting her hair all over the food at Chili Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill. I'm going to walk slap out when I notice that you're putting hair inside that shit. I'm walking right on out there, baby. Here we go to McDonald's. 19 mm. News first shared it on Tuesday. After seeing our story, Jacobs called me wanting to explain what happened. She admits to being angry after not getting what she was willing to pay for. And and I just want y'all to understand, when these babies get angry, they're willing to do anything. They is willing to lie, cheat, and steal. 
I tell you so. I said, can I get extra meat in my tacos? I said, I'll pay the extra, for the extra scoop, which was $2.50, and she could separate it between my four tacos. Imagine if she asked her baby daddy to do something and her baby daddy don't do. Who Jesus. Give the manager the then stepped in and told me I could not get extra meat or I would not be getting all of my toppings. I said, I never heard of that. She said, well, that's, you can't get extra meat. This is where things get baby, crazy. Uh, baby, the people said that you can't get extra meat. Why argue with people who making your food? Don't you ever argue with people who are making your dog on food. They said what you can't get. All right, cute. That's what's up. Oh, thank you for telling me because I just didn't know. All right, all right, cool. Humble yourself when people making your dog on food. The restaurant's managers claim Jacobs became aggressive because she didn't want to wait until the taco meat was fully cooked. According to Jacobs, that's far from the truth. She says the manager told her to get out. In response, I said, no, I cannot. Jacobs claims finally one of the employees did make her tacos with extra meat. So... Tacos were made with extra meat, but... But at that point, the manager didn't want to do business with her anymore. She said, throw that away. Throw that ish away. She gets nothing. I said, okay, well, if I'm not eating, nobody's eating. So I proceeded to take strands of my hair. That was her only retaliation because she know that she couldn't jump on that, baby, because she... Pre <laughs> it's not that she care that she's pregnant, but come on, she's a mother. Sprinkle it on the food. Do you think you deserve any type of punishment for this? Honestly, I was willing to pay for whatever the condiments that I did mess up, but it's like I said, it's not a thousand dollars worth of food, like they said. Jacob, it could be estimated to whatever they want to estimate it to, baby. Because because you left, they can say, "Up, oh, we found it in this and this and this and this and this. We found it all all over this area." And we had to clean and, st and sterilize. They probably had to close down for like 30 minutes. It just cost them. Says she was a regular customer at the Mexican Grill. But now she will never step foot inside there again. Never. And I wouldn't recommend anybody to go there because if the employees are allowed to disrespect the customers like that, that, that by alone would not want, you wouldn't want to eat there. Now police are involved. Jacob says she spoke to a detective and that's- Says she's supposed to say, that ain't me on that video. I, I don't even know what they're talking about. But right now, she's not facing any charges. In Cleveland, I'm Winnie Dorn. That baby ain't facing no charges and that baby is not going to face no charges. That's a mother. What is what? We don't put mothers in jail. <laughs> we don't we don't press charges against mothers. What type of country do you think we live in? Are you crazy? Y'all 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 asking for too much. No. Baby, just next time. Just 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 just, just know. Just know next time. Damn it, I don't push the wrong button. When they tell you that they can't sugar, just 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 believe that they can't even even if you know that they can even if you is under the belief that they can just when they tell you no baby is no you do not want to argue with people i promise you who is making your dog on food man we have to learn if you got learned from somebody learn from me i used to work fast food i know what the hell i'm talking about and your shit will end up on the floor and everything else. I'm trying to tell you something that I know. I'm trying to tell you something that I know. I'm trying to help. Give yourselves a pat on the back because y'all have made it to the end. And other night, not nightly news around here on YouTube. We're going to go around to Rumble. We got to go over to Rumble. We transition over to Rumble in case you all don't know. This is what we do around here in these streets now because we done changed up the routine. We got to spread our wings so we can fly away. You say, Will, I love your I will show. Say, I got things to do. I do understand that right there. And, and, and according to the numbers that I have been seeing on YouTube, it seems like a whole bunch of people just like the shows just to be an hour also. So, I wish somebody would have told me that a long time ago when I'm sitting right here doing two, two hours and 15 minute damn shows and it's like, wow, for nothing. But anyway, we're not going, we, we're not going to be mad. We're just going to move right along. We're just going to keep it moving. Players, prostate cancer awareness right here at the Willie Williams Show. So it's just a finger. So your prostate don't work, your meat don't work. You mess around and lose your la la and or your life. 
It's your choice. You make the call. Your body, your booty. I am here to help. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let me go ahead on and click, click the rumble thing. Bring it over to Rumble, make it public so you all can go over to Rumble right now. Remember, go to Rumble.com, Rumble.com, The Willie Williams Show. Put the name together, put it together like it's a holy matrimony, like a marriage, and then you can find a player like that right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we're going to Rumble. See y'all over there. I done pushed that doggone button. Man, we out of here.